Hello, <clears throat> my name is Kelly Oding. For today's video, I'm going to be doing the Interactive Advanced Concept Presentation 6, The Nuclear Bomb. Um, I'm going to make a video on how the different types of nuclear chemistry is needed for a nuclear bomb to work. Um, I'm going to be discussing what's occurring inside of the reaction as well as what components are necessary to achieve the chain reaction required for nuclear fusion. So the first thing I want to go over um, is nuclear fusion is the joining of two nuclei to form a heavier nuclei. The reaction is followed either by release or absorption of energy. Fusion of nuclei with lower mass than iron releases energy while fusion of nuclei heavier than iron generally absorbs the energy. There's different um, phenomenons known as this, so this is going to be example by an iron peak while the opposite is going to be the nuclear fusion. Uh, the power of energy in a fusion reaction is what drives energy that is released from the sun and most of the stars also in the universe. Um, nuclear fusion is applied in nuclear weapons. weapons. Um, the example from the video that I am going to be stemming from, a hydrogen bond bomb. Nuclear fusion is the energy supplying process that occurs at extremely high temperatures. Um, the smaller nuclei are joined to make larger nucleus and occurs... I'm sorry, and it's a process that gives off great amounts of heat and radiation. So, going in depth, um, a necessary part in nuclear fusion is plasma. Plasma is a mixture of the atomic nuclei and electrons that are required to initiate a self-sustaining reaction that reach, requires a temperature of more than 40 000 k. Um, this is because the nucleus contains protons, and in order to overcome electrostatic repulsion by the protons of both of the hydrogen atoms, um, both of the hydrogen nucleus need to accelerate at a super high speed, and then it needs to be close enough for the order of nuclear force to start the fusion. Um, going forward, the result of nuclear fusion releases more energy than it takes to start the fusion of delta G of the system, which is negative, and that means that it will be exothermic. Because it's exothermic, the fusion of light elements is self-sustaining, and it'll give it enough energy to start the fusion in the first place. Okay, going in more depth, um, I'm going to be discussing nuclear weapons on how they work. Um, so, this is going to be during I'm sorry, during um, nuclear weapons use fission fusion to generate an explosion. The This is going to be seen through different concepts that might require things such as nuclear fuel. Um, only certain isotopes of certain elements can undergo fusion. Um, going forward, I wanted to talk about nuclear bombs, or nu neutron, bo neutron bombs. Um, they are thermonuclear weapons that don't include a uranium blanket. Um, this is going to be known as a neutron bomb. And then uranium is um, a main component that is usually used for different uh, nuclear fuels that are going to be used in um, nuclear weapons. Uh, another aspect I wanted to include was um, the plutonium. It also can be used, but only in... Um, discrete amounts it's not as common as the other so again fusion reactions take place in a state of matter called the plasma um to go in depth with that a plasma is a hot charged gas made of positive ions and free moving electrons with unique properties distinct from solid liquids or gases so <clears throat> fusion can generate four times the amount of energy per kilogram of fuel than fission like I said, fission is used in nuclear power plants and nearly only 4 million times the energy of burning oil or coal. So when fusion is occurring, the reactor concepts are under a quote-unquote development that is a um, concoction of a mixture of deuterium and tritium. Uh, like I said prior, this is going to be the hydrogen atoms that contain the extra neutrons. So... Nuclear fusion can be seen that it has um, neutrons, helium, deuterium, which is the isotope of hydrogen, titerium, which is the isotope of hydrogen as well, and this is going to be able to release energy. So fusion fuel is a um, main component, as I said, of a characteristic of a nuclear weapons, um, and it's a main point that I wanted to conclude that um, Mostly, this is going to be hotter than the sun, so 
um, there is going to be a difference between fusion and fission. So that is going to be my presentation on um, how atomic and hydrogen bombs are occurred and what they are made up of. Thank you.